Hey folks, uh, this is Kyle from TTO Parts. Uh, today we are working on a 107 millimeter VideoJet 6530. All right, so we got this unit mounted here right in front of our test stand. Uh, we have powered it on, looked at the event log, and of course we're getting the dreaded print head carriage ah! position error. E3236, print head carriage position error. The print head carriage has failed to return to its correct position. Switch, switch the power off and remove the cassette. Check that the print head carriage movement is free from obstruction and ensure that its drive belt is not loose. Refit your cassette and switch the power on. Well, let's go ahead and do what this uh, recommends. We're going to take our cassette off and let's play with this carriage. We're going to move it back and forth to see if there's any obstruction. Moving this print head right and left is easy. The belt feels fine, but when I move this head up and down, I notice an issue immediately. Let's remove the print head to get a better look at this. Here's a close-up of your pivot assembly. Notice a large crack on the left-hand side of this pivot, closer to the belts. Uh, the metal from the pivot assembly is completely sheared here, uh, essentially leaving this print head out floating on its own. All right, let's quickly disassemble this unit so we can replace this pivot assembly. Unfortunately, we have to take all the parts off, starting with the, the rear housing, uh, then continuing to the PCB, then the two motors. Uh, while you're taking the motors off, we're going to have to take the idler pulleys out as well. Uh, otherwise, the motors will not slide out. Uh, once the motors are off, we can take the print head, and we'll call it the print head carriage plate off. Um, and once we have that off, we can get at our pivot assembly. Here's a close-up look of this uh, damaged pivot assembly. Never seen this before. Um, I did go through the settings to take a look at what their print force was on, and we're running at like five and a half kilograms force. Um, so the max is six on this, and the min is two. I always tell people, let's run at the min, and if we have a problem with the min, we'll slowly move ourselves up. When we start getting to the four and a half, five kilograms, six kilograms of force. Weird things start to happen. I know, I know, how did it happen so fast? I put everything back together and put our unit back on the test stand so I can see if that fixed our problem. So what I'm gonna do next is add our cassette and then go ahead and try to test print. Okay. Assembling the cassette and we go ahead and start our calibration process and we failed. Now we got a ribbon break error and this is exactly why I like to take the side plates off while I'm doing my testing so I can get a peek in on the inside. So we have one mandrel connected perfectly to the coupling, but if you can see on the very far end, it looks like the take up mandrel um, is not snapped in. We replaced the take up side mandrel and then reassembled the unit for testing, calibrated great this time. Now it's time to get some test prints. Let's see how this runs. Another beautiful print uh, and another fixed printer. Happy to do this for you guys. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime. Take a look at the website, ttoparts.com. We have all the parts up there. And if we don't, um, it's because we haven't added them yet. It's unfortunately a long process, and I apologize for that. But if you're looking for a part, you're getting killed by the OEM, just reach out. I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, if it's not on the website, we'll let you know.